Have you ever found yourself wanting to buy that shiny new cosmetic in Sea of Thieves, but you just don't have enough gold? Or maybe you're just trying to rank up as quickly as possible to hit Pirate Legend? Gathering loot can be a daunting task, and the grind to Pirate Legend is not an easy one. What's up guys, my name is Beeves, and in this guide I'll show you how to rank up faster and get rich quick in Sea of Thieves. Our first stop in this guide will be the emissary tables at the outposts you spawn at. Emissaries are a relatively new feature that allow you to gain extra gold and rep for each piece of loot sold to whichever emissary you choose to set sail as. For example, if I were an Order of Souls emissary, I would receive bonus loot and rep for each skull that I sold to the Order of Souls. The amount of bonus gold and rep that I gain is dependent on whichever level I am when I sell that piece of loot. Emissary levels range from level 1 to level 5, and there is a golden rep multiplier associated with each level. You level up by picking up loot, putting it on your ship, and performing certain tasks associated with your emissary. Our goal is always to reach level 5 before selling any loot to maximize profits. In this clip, I'm walking around the outpost that I spawned at to show y'all where each of the four emissary tables are located. They'll be scattered around the island and will be found next to their respective emissary leader. The Reaper's Bones emissary table is always a little bit hidden and tucked away from the rest. If you are looking to reach Pirate Legend quickly, consider becoming an emissary of one of the three main factions, the Merchant Alliance, the Gold Hoarders, or the Order of Souls, in order to more quickly target reputations that you may be behind in. On the other hand, if you are more skilled at the game or are looking to make insane gold, become a Reaper's Bones emissary. This will add a huge risk-reward factor to your game and will leave you swimming in gold if you can survive the onslaught of players. The Reaper's Bones Emissary works a little differently than the rest, forcing your ship to appear on the map for all other players in your lobby. They will see the position of your ship as well as what emissary level you are, so they will have a rough estimate as to how much loot you have on your ship. This will put a target on your back and you will almost certainly be hunted down. Trust me guys, this is like playing the hard mode version of the game and you will be attacked. Be ready for some PvP. Once you have chosen an emissary, your next step will be to pick up any voyage of your choosing. I enjoy picking up the monthly voyages, so this month's would be the Vault Voyages, sold by Lorena or the Gold Hoarder. It's not very important as to which voyage you choose, as they will not be our primary focus. Remember to check every emissary table for a small wooden ship. These symbolize any other players in your lobby who are also flying an emissary flag. Hunting these players down for their loot is a high priority, so it is important to take note of how many other emissaries are in Adventure your lobby. Calls. Plunder the outpost of all its supplies located in the barrels around the island and put them on your ship. Once you have gathered a good amount of supplies, it's time to set sail. As you are setting sail, remember to check your surroundings for other ships. These are your first targets. If there are ships in your vicinity that are not in an outpost, immediately sail towards them and sink them. Our goal is to sink as many other players as quickly as possible to get their loot and supplies, and put them at a disadvantage if they choose to come back to fight you again. Once a player's ship sinks, their new ship spawns with very little supplies, making a second PvP fight very hard to win for them. Remember guys, we're here to make as much money as possible in the shortest amount of time possible, so making friends isn't exactly on the cards.
Once you've cleared the area of any ships that you see, make your way to any world event that might be up. These include Ghost and Skeleton Fleet events, Skeleton Forts, and the new Ashen Lord event. Keep an eye out for other players as you travel, and stop at any shipwrecks you may come across. You can find many high-tier loot spawns in shipwrecks, as well as cooked meat and cursed cannonballs, essential supplies if you intend to fight more players. If you sail close to islands and happen to spot a skeleton captain wandering the shores, stop and kill them. They will drop valuable villainous skulls in a rill that will lead you to even more treasure. These quick activities that you do on your way to your destination will bring in a noticeably large amount of treasure on their own, but world events are where we really start to see the big numbers. If you can successfully complete these events, you will be rewarded with a staggering amount of treasure. Learning how to quickly beat these events is key, because they can drag on for quite some time if you're not careful, and we're looking to be as efficient as possible. Once you've loaded all of the loot on board from the event, it's time to repeat the process. Start sailing towards your voyage destination and kill any players you see along the way. If a Kraken, Skeleton Ship, or Megalodon spawns on you, don't panic and kill them. They're very easy to beat and are basically just loot pinatas. Continue on your way to your voyage destination, but alter course to any world events that might spawn. World events are on a very short respawn timer, so it's likely that you won't complete a voyage in your play session, but that's okay. World events are your absolute top priority, followed by killing other players, followed by doing your voyage. Once you've gotten an amount of loot that you're happy with, head to the nearest outpost. If you are a Reaper's Bones emissary, head to the Reaper's Hideout, located in the center of the map, just east of Wanderer's Refuge. You won't gain any loot multiplier if you don't sell your loot at this island as a Reaper's Bones emissary, but the good news is that you can sell any piece of loot in the game at this island. This is why it's such a good way to make money, because you typically would only get a multiplier for one category of loot if you were any other emissary, but since you can sell all loot to this one person, you will get the multiplier for every piece of loot that you sell. Make sure that you check the island's perimeter for anything suspicious, such as mermaids, rowboats, and gunpowder kegs, before you start selling, because someone could be camping the island and waiting to ambush you. It doesn't happen very often, but it's better safe than sorry. In this clip, you'll see me take a crappy piece of loot to the vendor first, because I'm checking to see if I will get ambushed. If there had been somebody waiting to ambush me, then they would have only gotten this foul bounty skull instead of a better quality piece of loot. Normally I would run around the entire island without loot on and with my ship parked further away just to make sure that there's nobody there, but this was at the end of a three hour play session and I was getting kind of lazy. Once you've finished selling all of your loot, go ahead and lower your emissary flag at the emissary table where you raised the flag and you'll get a nice bit of bonus gold and reputation for that faction. After that, it's time to celebrate some hard-earned gold with a grog and maybe a new cosmetic. Thank y'all so much for watching. This was uh, my first YouTube video ever, and it's also the first video that I've ever tried to edit, so I, I, I'm sure that it sh it's showing that I'm kind of new at this, but... You know, I'm planning on making more, I enjoyed doing this. Um, I'm planning on making some PvP and solo slooping guides, as well as some videos for other games that I play, such as uh, World of Warcraft and Escape from Tarkov. Um, I also stream, I just started streaming. Uh, my Twitch link is going to be linked down below, uh, it's twitch.tv slash beeves. And my Twitter is also going to be linked down below, I mostly just use it to uh, let y'all know when I'm going live on Twitch. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, consider leaving it a like, and, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe subscribe. You don't have to, but that would, that'd be pretty cool. Um, and if you didn't like it, then you can go ahead and slap a dislike on it, and, you know, I won't, I won't take it personally. Um, I'm open to any criticism or suggestions that you might have, uh, and if you'd like to see any specific guides on anything, let me know. Um, I would say that I'm pretty knowledgeable about Sea of Thieves. I've been playing it for a couple years now, uh, pretty extensively. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to see anything specific, then just let me know and I'll try and get it out for you. So yeah, that's that's about all from me. Thank you all so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time.